my colleague. Uh, I want to thank you again, Dr. Zeg and the other colleague, for such a uh, distinguished. Okay, and this is the brain CT scan shows that we don't have any bleeding in the acute phase, and uh, actually we don't have any signs of ischemia in the first in the first uh, hours, and this is a good thing, a good sign, because we need this mismatch because that means we are still we have an penumbra which will be resolved and we will talk later about. So we move directly to four vessel cerebral angiogram, and this is the, the angiogram, the right internal carotid, and we can see here. Total occlusion of terminal right and terminal carotid, and we we couldn't opacify or see the territory of right cerebellar, anterior cerebellar, and middle cerebellar arteries. Total occlusion and even the thalamus straight artery, we couldn't see it. So we moved from mechanical thrombectomy immediately, since we are now at fourth hour, fourth hour. So are beyond to do uh, intraarterial or IV thrombolysis using TBA or anything else. So we did first two trials by mechanical thrombectomy used. Uh, stand. So this is after third time. We can see we have irregularity in the wall of the artery. We're still deploying the stent, but still we don't have the right anterior cerebral artery. But we we can see here some territory of, of uh, thrombostriate artery. And this is after fourth trial. We have a clot. We have distal perfusion, but still we have this uh, T, 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 uh, T uh, termination of right uh, internal carotid, which this it will lead if we left like that, it will it will thrombose again. It will have we will have total occlusion. And then after this is after final one after first trial, we have total totally the right MCA right ACA is totally patent, and we, we don't have we bring the clot out, and we even we have a good penetration that in degree we have the thermostrate artery. So it's well perfused, and this is the parenchymal phase of the angiogram in the AP and lateral. So if we compare between pre, we don't have anything, the whole brain tissue is devoid for any vascularity, with after, this is the AP view, and this is lateral view. Also, we can see it's much better. And the most alarming thing, and we are afraid always, after mechanical thrombectomy, is to have a uh, Hemorrhagic transformation, especially it could reach if it's late more than five hours, reach 10% to have hemorrhagic transformation. And this is a brain CT scan at 24 hours, prove that we don't have any uh, hemorrhagic transformation, but we still we have some uh, hypodensity here. But the patient, even after the fifth trial, the last trial, the patient improved till degree, she started to speak fluently in the table of angiogram. And we published this case in the Oman Medical Journal. And the aim of all our treatment always to, to take our clot as fast as we can, because it's, we are losing a lot of neurons for an inch minute. As the prevalence for the stroke is around 130,000, and prevalence around 400,000, and 25 of the patient aged less than 65, and they are talking about cost effectiveness, because the mechanical thrombectomy, sometimes they say saying it's expensive, but if you compare the, the cost, if you leave the patient in, in France, but for example, it's around 8 billion per year to treat such a patient. And for, from ischemia, we move from this. So what's, what's the time is brain, what we are concerned always because we have two components of this stroke. We have the, the ischemic core infarction zone, which is irreversible even with our mechanical thrombectomy, but we are aiming to decrease the size of penumbra, which is reversible by decreasing, by taking the clot out and to have pre-perfusion or revascularization. Because in each minute we are losing around 1.9 million neuron we are 1.9 million in Iran in each minute, so we should go as fast as we can to have reperfusion. So, in case of acute stroke, the treated patient loses 1.9 million, and during the studies about thrombolysis from 2004 to 2010, shows earlier we can start thrombolysis treatment, so we will get more benefit for the patient and more improvement in his functionality. And even in Rennes, the National Institute for Neurological Disorder and Stroke, they prefer the time between entering the hospital till they have the needle end, it's around one hour. So as early we can, so it's better. So what we, what we want, we want reperfusion. It's not just a recanalization. It's the end point. 
to have recanalization, which is opening the primary arterial uh, occlusive, and to have reperfusion, reopening of the distal vascular bed, and revascularization to have both revascularization, recanalization plus reperfusion. And after diagnostic, always the question, if we have a stroke, what, what to do? To do IV thrombolysis alone, or intra-arterial thrombolysis, or intra-arterial thrombectomy, or combined intra-arterial plus intra-arterial uh, thrombolysis, or bridging therapy, which start by IV thrombolysis to wait 20 minutes if there is no improvement, to go directly to mechanical thrombectomy. Okay. Recanalization rate is depending on many things. If we lift spontaneously, it reaches around 25% to, to, to recanalize again. But if we give IV thrombolysis, it could be reached by studies, according to the studies, around 46. Intraarterial thrombolysis, it reached 64. And combined IV plus intraarterial thrombolysis, it could reach 67. But mechanical thrombectomy, we can achieve a four, a 84%. So mechanical thrombectomy, why we are convinced by mechanical, mechanical thrombectomy? We have quick, uh, time, quick time to retrieve the clot and reduce reperfusion bleeding risk. And thanks for Mr. Clean's study that enrolled 500 patients and published in newly in 2015, and the proof and geographically confirmed proximal arterial occlusion in the anterior circulation. And they are randomly assigned to two arms, either intra-arterial treatment or to leave for IV thrombolysis alone. So the method of intra-arterial, they left it to local interneural interventionalists to use intra-arterial plus IV thrombolysis or either, either uh, yes, either, either to use uh, mechanical thrombectomy. But in 80% in this study, they use in the intra-arterial arm a retrievable stent using mechanical thrombectomy. And 90% of both groups, they received IV thrombolysis prior during the randomization in, in according to bridge therapy. So compared this therapy, the group assigned to intra-arterial treatment significantly improved outcome at 90 days determined by lower scores at modified ranking score. And intra-arterial treatment group a significantly higher rate of functional independence at 90 days. Mechanical thrombectomy, Mechanical thrombectomy is compared, we have many material, but compared to Mercy, the biggest one, Mercy retrieval in small randomized trials, the newer generation of neurothrombectomy, large neurothrombectomy devices achieve significantly, significantly higher rate of recanalization. And we have multiple devices, but the goal of all of it to bring the clot out and to remove it and to prevent the distal, fragment, uh, distal fragmentation to distal small arteries as much as we can. In the same concept, either by aspiration or drilling and suction or made by mechanical thrombectomy. Thank you.